CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220 1101, Practice Exam. Questions 76 through 8. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So, are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 76. A technician is diagnosing an older desktop computer that is experiencing a random Windows BSOD followed by intermittent shutdowns. After determining that temperature readings for the system are normal, what is the next step the technician should take? The answer is A. Examine the motherboard for capacitor swelling. Examining the motherboard for swollen capacitors is the correct step after ruling out overheating because failing capacitors are a common cause of instability in older desktops. Swollen or leaking capacitors can lead to irregular power supply to the system's components, causing random BSOD and shutdowns. By visually inspecting the motherboard, the technician can identify if any capacitors are bulging or leaking, which would necessitate their replacement to stabilize the system. Question 77. A user wishes to set up a dual monitor arrangement with their laptop. The user has already connected the external monitor with the appropriate video cable. What action should be performed next to get both displays operational? The answer is C. Adjust the monitor display settings. Once the correct physical connection is established, the laptop often requires configuration to utilize the additional monitor. This involves enabling the second display in the system settings, where the user can choose to either mirror the primary display or extend the desktop across both monitors, as well as arrange the display order and set the preferred resolution for the new monitor. Question 78. A technician is troubleshooting a computer that has an intermittent problem with the projector. The technician suspects the video cable is the cause and replaces the cable with a known good cable, but the problem persists. What is the appropriate next step for the technician to take? The answer is B. Research the issue further and establish a new theory to test. When a known good cable does not resolve an intermittent video issue with a projector, the next appropriate step is to research the issue further and establish a new theory to test. This is because the initial hypothesis, that the cable was the source of the problem, has been disproven. The technician must now look for other potential causes, such as issues with the projector itself, the video output from the computer, or even software drivers. Question 79. An employee requests additional memory for their workstation to perform their job duties more efficiently. Upon inspecting the interior of their computer, a technician notices there are four RAM slots grouped in pairs by color. What type of memory configuration is most likely used by this system's motherboard? The answer is B. Dual channel. The dual channel configuration is indicated by the presence of four RAM slots on a motherboard grouped in pairs by color. This color coding is a design feature that guides the installation of RAM modules in matched pairs to enable dual channel mode. When identical memory modules are inserted into these color coded slots, the system can access RAM in two channels doubling the data throughput to the CPU compared to single channel configuration and thus improving overall system performance. Question 80. What cloud characteristic permits all VM within a virtualized environment to be assigned RAM for their operations? The answer is D. Resource pooling. Resource pooling is a cloud computing characteristic that allows providers to serve multiple clients with provisions from a pool of computing resources. In a virtualized environment, this means RAM and other resources can be dynamically distributed among various VM according to demand, 
ensuring efficient utilization and flexibility in resource allocation. It enables seamless RAM assignment to each VM based on current needs without manual intervention or rigid hardware constraints. So did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.